and specifically basketball, plays a significant and ultimately unifying role in this book. Can you tell us why you wrote it that way and discuss the role or influence sports has played in your life as a person and as a father? Well, with regard to the book, I suppose the easiest way to say it is the children shall lead. Mm. And uh, that's, a, that's a theme that's throughout the book with these 12 year olds, uh, both black and white. Uh, basketball has always been my favorite sport. I, I played basketball until I could no longer play basketball. And it's, it's the team sport. It's just the teamwork, the, the way people move on the court. It's all coordination. And the best team wins. You don't have to have the best five players uh, you, if you have the best team. Uh, so that's important. Uh, my son was a big basketball fan, in spite of the fact that I wanted to push him toward baseball. Uh, but, uh, he, and he was also a, a damn good basketball player throughout high school. And uh, that's kind of the way we, we related, uh, even during the... Uh, there weren't really tough teen times for us, but during the times where teenage boys just grunt a lot, we could, we could actually have a conversation if it was about basketball. Oh, that's terrific. And you, all, you have some traditions now. You always go to the NCAA tournaments, right? Yeah. Okay, do you go with him? Uh, occasionally. When he's available? Well, here's uh, the reality of it is I'm, I'm the lawyer for the Missouri Valley Conference here in St. Louis. Okay. And so one of the perks of uh, being their lawyer is I get to go to the final four every year and I've been 19 of the last 20. Oh my goodness. Now, now here's where I have to tell you the truth about it is if I need one ticket, I usually get a great seat. Okay. If I need two tickets, I don't get such a great seat. So he's kind of on his own. He's kind of <laughs> on his own. Uh, but he did get to be the ball boy for the 2005 final four here in St. Louis when he was 14. Okay. And that was a great treat. For oh, him and for me. Oh, outstanding. That's a great story. Right. <laughs> well, thank you. Shh.